Hello, welcome back for episode three of a Moat and Mind Squish. And as you can see, we've I've dug down quite a ways here. Uh, I have not gone that far down. We're only down at about 42. But I've stopped because I have found a cavern. Now, I've not explored out there yet, so we're going to go do that now. Uh, what I did is I just found this little spot here and created a little enclosure for myself, keep it safe, and also sort of keep access to that a little bit more blocked off. And I've created a few more tools, made a little bit of charcoal to get some more torches so we can have all those things ready to go. And um, yeah, just in case, I'm ready to keep that down there. And we're going to go take a look and see what we find out here. Hoping to find some iron fairly quickly if we're lucky. So we certainly could use some of that. Speaking of which, right there. Oh, and there we go. Oh, some more coal, excellent. These are all um, zombies. I did kill a zombie and a skeleton out front of the place. Where are you? I hear you. It must be right up over there someplace. Um, we're going to come back and get... Ooh. Yeah, it's right up in there someplace. Let me gather some of this iron. So I did kill a zombie and a skeleton. They were hanging out in the shade of the overhanging overhang right next to uh, the front door of our new little mining location. So I do have some arrows now and some bones if I need it. And more zombie flesh, which... Oops. There we go. Thank you. You guys are coming for me. I know it. But let me grab this in the meantime. And uh, so we'll get this cooking here. Okay. Eight pieces. So we'll start cooking that here just so we can get it. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. Let me see how things are over there. Uh, I hear you coming. Or you look above me, I can't tell. It is all right over here. Ooh, lava it looks like. Yep, there's the sound. And right up. Oh, wow. Zombies all over the place. Oh, wow. I'm afraid I'm getting knocked in there by. Because I've missed something. Let's see that real quick. And let's go back over here. We'll. Try to find where those guys are here in a minute, but I'm guessing they're up around the corner. They sound like they're right up above us here someplace. Let's see. I'm going to go over. The goal for me right now is to get the iron cookie so we can shear those sheep. That'll be a nice change. Oh, there we go. There's our first pick down. And of course, get an iron pick. I think we'll go ahead and... Well, you sound like you are right on top of me. I think you are. Literally, I think you're right above me. So we'll check that out in just a minute. Yeah, you're coming down from around from over there. So I'm going to uh, pause here, kind of hide out for a second, and say hello. Uh, we'll probably skip this part of the video. Yeah, maybe not. Well, we'll go ahead. Let's see how we do. Maybe we'll just leave it in. Because um, this may be a little bit of a conversation. Which would be just fine. Alright, so I'm going to head back up over here. This is going to be kind of a nice little place to to have a little work spot for myself. And let me see. What put. Oh yeah, you notice here we're getting a warning about from clear lag uh, ground. Morning ground items will be removed in 40 seconds and just now remove 10 items. As a um, lag, anti-lag measure, we have a clear lag plug-in running that picks up items that are just floating on the ground. And those can cause lag like chicken eggs and all that fun stuff. Um, so it just periodically clears those things out. And that's what we just saw. That can be a problem if you're fishing. Your fishing line will come up. You won't get anything at that moment in time. If you're um, mining and your block drops right as that happens, you'll, you won't get your block. So it is worth paying attention to those messages. Uh, they don't happen all that often. It does give you lots of warning. You can see 40 seconds, 20 seconds, all that stuff. So it, it gives you, uh, I think, even a minute ahead. But it gives you a fair amount of 
of forewarning. So that's a, that's nice. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get that cooking. Oh, pretty good. Built a nice home exploration. Not allowed. That's what I'm doing. Actually, I'm mining, so I guess I should be more correct on that. Just let them know, so I may not be answering the texts all that often. Uh, let me go ahead and eat while we're at it. That's not quite what I meant to do, but that's alright. Alright, so we've got those pieces. We've got the iron going. Um, I kept two aside because uh, one coal will melt eight iron. Um, so I don't want to waste a piece of coal. I don't have that much right now on two pieces where I won't need it quite yet. So we'll grab this in just a minute. And... Um, Oh, the other thing I was going to talk about is, you know, I read about this, I can't remember who, do, who does this. When I'm going through caves, I put my, my, uh, I'm trying to watch for these guys while I'm at it, because I can hear them bouncing around up there. Uh, I put my torches on the right-hand side as I go in. That means when I come out, I can just make sure they're on the left-hand side, and that should be good to go. So, I'm going to hop over here and grab this. Ooh, it sounds like they're right over there. So if I cut through here, I may meet these guys. Um, right, listen, they're either right above me or right next door. I can't tell which. Uh, let's see. Let me take a look and see. So 863, negative 58, huh? 863. All right. All right. And I've got my hostile mob sounds up high in my headphones, and so it's really loud. I'll probably turn it down for the actual video. But it sounds literally like they are standing on my shoulder, so it's kind of freaking me out, frankly. Um, so I was talking about the... Talking about the... Uh, how I place the torches. There we go. So I can find my way back out. I'm going to get knocked in here. I know it. I just have a feeling. Um, so now, if I want to quickly find my way out, or if I need to remember my way out, especially if I've maybe been away from the game for a little bit. Ah, there you are. I knew I'd find if I looked hard enough. little section over here. Uh, not very good, so he's actually on the opposite side of exploration from me. There's no piece. Let's go ahead and grab this while we're at it. There we go. Stop for a second. So, um, so you're, he's basically on the opposite side. That was nice. I mean, people are very nice here. Uh, people are almost always off. Oops. I can't type. Um, you know, people often are, are often offering you know, resources if you need them. Especially players who've been uh, who've been around for a while. Uh, right now, it's pretty sparse, so there's, I don't really want me something by. Alright, so I think we've got that. We've at least silenced that zombie. We've got some coal going over here. And we're going to run up over here. 
and I want to take a look at the other side. So now, you know, if I'm watching the torches, if I put them on the left side of my screens, uh, then I can always find my way back. Let's see another zombie over there. Yeah, I'm hoping to. I hear them off to the side. There's somebody up there someplace too. All right. I'm, hoping, I'm guessing that we have some guys up over here. So we're going to take a quick look. Let's see if we... Yeah, I'm guessing they're right up over here someplace. And I carry the torches on the right-hand side all the way on up. Um, if it gets really weird, sometimes I'll... I, could, I was really betting that the zombies were up here. Ooh, there. That's where I want to be. Um, I'll often put two torches like that right next to the staircase or something like that. Kind of any game going upstairs, that kind of thing. Um, sorry, looking around because I hear all the... I hear them. But I can't see them right now. And there's some more, some more lava. I might come out on the side of the mountain here, right? If I keep going over here eventually. Uh, it's lots of good coal here, so that's good. All right, so we're going to do a little more adventuring here. We may make this a, a short episode with the new ores. I sometimes think I see um, iron and whatnot where I don't. Oh, hello. So I'm circling back over where I just was. Okay. Um, all right, so let's head back over here. Um, I did cook some of the dead end there, right? All right, so I'm going to go back and grab that iron. Uh, I think in just a second, let's just check down here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, hello. Hi. There we go. And light. Oh, yeah, this one goes right outside. Beautiful. Right there. Let's see how we're doing. It's nighttime. Got to be a little careful. I'm gonna. I'm creeper. I'm a creeper magnet. I think our place is just right up over there. That's an interesting little hole there. Uh, let's see if we can see our place. Yeah, there's that lava flow, and there's our house. There's our entrance. It's gonna be right over there next to that stuff. Well, that's good to know. So we kind of have a nice little pattern out here. All right, let's go grab. We're relatively safe. And just um, so I did cook up some of the pork. Actually, our surprise here. Get a little bit more of the iron. And all right, there we go. Right. Oh, there, this piece. Right now, I am iron poor. I need every piece I can get. So I'll take all the stuff out. I do love the the new. Oops, no, let's do some. Uh, I do love. Oh, I didn't realize I got a go out of that gentleman. No arrows yet, but that's all right. Do love the new ores. Some of the new building blocks here. We'll be using some of those. Let's do like the eight. Could mark that up while we're here. Come back for some more of this coal here later. Uh, I do love some of the new color, the new blocks, uh, the granite and the andesite and the diorite and all that fun stuff. It is a nice addition. I'm grateful that they've added in the the new stairs and doors. Uh, trying to make it so it's not I don't create death pits for anybody if they can at least hop out pretty easily and pretty quickly. Um, I think the Oh, now I've gone off into a different pattern. Let's see. So, see, there you go. Just, I went up that direction. So I came down from over there. I haven't explored that one yet. There's that bat. Oh, there's some iron right there. So we'll, we'll grab that real quick. Uh, I'm also playing in, playing around in some local worlds with a Feed the Beast mod pack. And in it, uh, it has Ard's Magic of two mods. Uh, and in it, you can use... 
bat wings to create some of the magic items. And so when I hear bats in that game, I keep I go I try to go find them and kill them because I need their wings. So I came down this way a little bit. Oh yeah, because this way I went out. That's right. Um, there's some gold on the side on the way up, but I don't think send this back this way. Uh, so whenever I hear bats now, I think, oh, I have to go chase them down. But uh, since I really have, don't have any use for them, and I, I like bats in general, uh, and they certainly don't, certainly not harmful, uh, I tend not to try. I try not to kill things I don't need to. Um, I you know, go for food when I need to. Um, but in oh hello, but in general, I try to leave them alone. And if I don't need to kill something. I try not to. Those are the ones I was thinking about. I hear you. You must be down there. So we'll come and get you in just a minute. But first we're going to just step over here. And hope another skeleton doesn't hop out and, and jump us. Oh, you're right there. Hi, how are you doing? And where's your buddy? Oh wow, these caverns, this place, whole, whole place is uh, just riddled with well, caverns. I can hear him, he's right next to me here. But he must be in the next cabin over. No dungeons yet, but that's alright too. Alright. So, that's kind of our spelunking for right now. Let's head back. Oh, baby zombie. Hey guys, oh, that's pretty funny right there, look at that. No, well, you can't get to him, Grace. So, oh, he's making it, though. Uh, right as I say that. All right. He must have taken some fall damage. <laughs> well, that'll teach me to tease the poor zombie kids. Oh, look, some more, some more stuff over there. We'll have to section this off and take a look. There we go. Um, so of course, as soon as I laugh at the poor guy, he makes it through the water and kills me, or tries to. No armor at this point, we'll have to get some. Not even wearing my warm coat, that's alright. Let's take a quick look over here. Always want to explore the next pace over. This is where I usually die a horrible death, and people laugh at me, especially my son loves to, loves it when I flub it like that. Oh, oh hello. Thank goodness that wasn't a really big pit. That's a pretty nice, that's a very interesting set of caverns under here. Some very interesting things here. Alright, what do we have right now? 26. Alright, let's um, grab this iron while we're at it. Ooh, yep. Oh, that was interesting. Pushed me right up on top of it. Well, I'm not going to complain. That was too close. I didn't think I was right underneath it, but obviously I was. All right, there's multiple bait. Nope, need one more piece. But I will. A couple of pieces floating around back. That time I missed myself, thankfully. Let me get that. Let me get some flint for some arrowheads while we're at. Got that. Those good. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Oops, that's what I say. So there are those ground items. Thankfully, I picked up all my stuff right now. Probably want to wait to get this guy until the clear lag goes by. So let's see if he's coming through. Should be saying 20 seconds or something. There's 20 seconds. Let's kind of take a look around while we're at it. So that's the one I'm going to get as soon as clear lag goes by. You see any other down here? Right no. Alright. And... About 20 seconds seems to take forever sometimes. There we go. Remove 54 entities. So That's quite a collection. Now that doesn't remove mobs, so our chicken's still over here. If I get a name tag, I'm going to name you Fred. Just because I can do it. And we will... Head back. Oh, I'm heading the wrong direction. See, torches are on the right. I need to head down. 
You know, I used to watch some uh, uh, YouTuber who just couldn't seem to walk by a patch of coal without you know, mining it out, and I'm I'm almost as bad. So I hear you. I'll come back for you. Trust me. And um, I'm just about as bad. If I see a patch of coal, I tend to have to pick it up. All right. So there's that. We've got. Um, Let's see. Because I'm marginally with my coal. Just want to use enough to get things going there. And I think that's kind of the basics right there. Uh, we're going to do, the last thing we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and use some of this experience we have to Try our luck. Oh, I just realized um, the enchanting table is going to need lapis. So I was going to run over and use the enchanting table, but we can't because we're going to need that spawn. But we're going to need some lapis. Lapis lazuli. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for right now. Let's call it quits here. Uh, what I'll plan, my plan is to go ahead and continue digging down. We're going to aim for. Uh, you'll probably aim for for somewhere you know close to bedrock. Try to find some diamonds here pretty quickly, but we'll um, we'll try to skip part of that. Uh, if I do any work up top to try to make the place a little nicer, then uh, we'll record some of that for the next episode as well. So I think this is where we're going to kind of cut it. We're just going to do that little do the little cave exploration. So that was good. Uh, found a few things. Certainly got a, a beginning of our iron supply, which we definitely need up there got ourselves set up and met a friend so we'll call this video at this point and we'll be back hopefully come back for episode uh, four and um, I think for episode four we'll actually go over and we'll visit one of the towns in uh, Persephone now that we have, at least have some basic tools uh, we can have some things to protect ourselves when we're out in Persephone so I think we'll go do a town visit on the next episode well thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to catch you on the flip side take care